As the tax season 2023 approaches and is indeed on us, it's essential to be aware of the changes and updates in the tax laws to avoid any potential issues with the Australian Taxation Office. Here's a rundown of what you need to know this tax season. The tax return deadline for individuals in Australia is the 31st of October 2023. It is crucial to ensure that you submit your tax return before this date to avoid any penalties. If you're registered with an accountant, that date can be May, but it's best to check directly with them. Changes in tax brackets. There have been some changes in the tax brackets this year, which means that you may be taxed differently depending on your income. The tax-free threshold for the 2023 financial year remains at 18200 and the marginal tax rate for the lowest income bracket remains at 19%. However, the tax bracket for the second highest income bracket has been adjusted with those earning between $180,001 and $200,000 now being taxed at a rate of 45%. Those earning above $200,000 will continue to pay tax at a rate of 47%. Working from home deductions. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many individuals have been working from home and the ATO has introduced new rules for claiming deductions for home office expenses. If you've been working from home, you may be eligible to claim a deduction for expenses such as office equipment, internet and phone bills. However, it is important to note that you can only claim these expenses if you have incurred them as a result of working from home. You cannot claim a deduction for expenses that have been reimbursed by your employer. Changes to superannuation. There have been some changes to the superannuation laws, including an increase in the superannuation guarantee rate from 10% to 10.5%. This means that your employer is now required to contribute 10.5% of your salary into your superannuation fund. There also have been changes to the concessional and non-concessional contribution caps. The concessional cap has been increased to $30,000, while the non-concessional cap has been increased to $110,000. Cryptocurrency and tax. Cryptocurrency has become increasingly popular in recent years, and it is important to be aware of the tax implications of investing in crypto. If you've bought or sold cryptocurrency, you may be required to pay capital gains tax on any profits you've made. It is essential to keep accurate records of all your cryptocurrency transactions to ensure that you are reporting the correct amount of capital gains tax. The 2023 tax season in Australia brings several changes and updates to the tax laws. It is critical to be aware of these changes and seek professional advice to ensure that you meet your tax obligations and avoid any penalties. Follow us on our social media pages. You can find us on Facebook, MCG Quantity Surveyors Tax Depreciation Experts, on Instagram, at MCG Quantity Surveyors, and on LinkedIn, MCG Quantity Surveyors. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos answering the real estate industry's frequently asked question and other fun content. Don't forget to like and share this video.